Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if you guys are fans of the content being posted onto this channel to always be in the loop with more content similar to this and be sure to hit the video up with a like if you're enjoying the content and with that being said, let's begin. If you are a fan of Jeepers Creepers then chances are just like the rest of us you're patiently waiting to find out when new information and accurate information is going to be posted for a potential Jeepers Creepers 4 movie and with that being said so many fans within the actual Jeepers Creepers fandom had been wondering what the overall future is going to be for the property of Jeepers Creepers being the fact that Jeepers Creepers is under the umbrella of Victor Salva and I'm here to tell you that so as long as Victor Salva is behind this overall narrative and project we are never going to see another Jeepers Creepers movie again or if we do then more than likely it's going to take a few years for that to be released because of Victor Salva's history now in my own opinion when looking at the overall narrative of what Jeepers Creepers had become the franchise of Jeepers Creepers is suffering because because of Victor Salva and one of the many reasons as to why this franchise will never succeed is because of Victor Salva's reputation. Now for those that don't know Victor Salva is actually a convicted child enthusiast to say the least and being that Victor Salva had been involved in doing the wrong things inappropriate things to children many many years ago this actually caused a downward spiral not only for Victor Salva but for his overall properties and work such as Jeepers Creepers and so as long as Victor's name is going to be attached to this franchise then essentially nobody's going to want to fund the project nobody is going to want to be a part of the project only given the fact that it's not really the script or the property of what the movie is it's more or less Victor so I think that in order for this franchise for this movie series to succeed and ultimately get better what they need to do and I've preached this for many years is Victor Salva needs to sell the property rights of Jeepers Creepers to a large corporation, Blumhouse, Universal, it doesn't matter who he gives it away to, sell Jeepers Creepers to a company and to a distribution studio that can ultimately do better with your work rather than having fans wait 10, 15, 20 years for a half-assed product because a lot of us can't sit here and universally agree that Jeepers Creepers 3 was complete and utter trash. Even if they were to go down the approach and adapt the original Jeepers Creepers 3 Cathedral script, the movie would have been trash anyway because the budgeting was terrible, the overall narrative and direction was terrible, and the marketing and overall production behind making the film was utterly atrocious. So they could ultimately do better by giving this away in not having Victor be a part of this because other publishers and distributing companies and studios could ultimately do a better job, invest more money, and put more money into making the Creeper look that much more menacing, allowing everything to feel more tight-gripped and more in-your-face than what we've seen before, and hiring people that can tell an overall better story by introducing a concept like the Creeper and someone that can actually write in a good narrative for him. Now, the comics, in case you guys are unaware, do an absolutely crazy great job in portraying the monster and portraying the the story of where the creeper came from, his overall backstory, and the lingering thought of what it would actually be like for this to continue at least through the form of comics. And so as long as Victor's name is attached to this, nobody watching this video who is a fan of these movies, not Victor but his movies, are never going to see the light of day ever again following the events of Jeepers Creepers 3. Now another issue as to why this movie franchise is not successful is due to prolonged time, lots of time having to be wasted especially in between movies. Now, if you were to wait 10, 15, 20, 25 years to put out a sequel or a prequel in this case for Jeepers Creepers 3, then chances are your audience at this point is either too old to care, they're disinterested based on the fact that they forgot the events of what happened before, or in actuality, they're probably dead. So what they need to do is not prolong a movie series like this because who really wants to wait decades upon decades for a follow-up or a prequel? Equal to a film that they ultimately lost hope over given the fact that they've waited so many years for this to actually come out and at this point nobody really cares so prolonged time is something that really can do damage to a franchise especially when you start waiting so many years just to have something either come into fruition or just to have a rough draft on things 
that never works. So I think that going forward, if they were to relinquish the rights from Victor and give this over to a different studio, because if they don't, then we're never going to see either a movie or a TV show be put in its place. Now, don't let anyone else online lie to you and tell you that they have secret information or inside information that Jeepers Creepers 4 is actually a thing or they have a script because they're trying to bait you into clicking on their shitty videos for you to actually be lied to over their phony baloney statements that they have information that the public does not have because as of right now as of this recording there is no credible information accurate information or additional information for anything involving Jeepers Creepers 4 but that could ultimately change, I do think, if the overall franchise were to sell the rights over to a different company. Now, another big reason why Jeepers Creepers doesn't really succeed in today's world is because of the lack of marketing. We live in a world where social media is very, very powerful. All of you guys have a voice, and you guys can make your voices heard on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, hell, even Snapchat, blogging sites. And with that being said, it really boggled my mind to see the lack of marketing be put into Jeepers Creepers because with a franchise like this, they could ultimately sell the monster very well, they could build up and have really relatable and credible characters come about from this series to where people can gravitate towards and they haven't done that. The only character or icon from this franchise that people can gravitate towards is the monster because there are no other characters of significant or relevant importance that people care about just to look at and put their time in investing into. So that is another reason why Jeepers Creepers fails is because Nobody's doing anything promotional wise to put the movie out there, no trailers, hardly any trailers, hardly any merchandise in terms of action figures or t-shirts or posters or anything like that. So that really ultimately kills the franchise when you don't have any marketing behind it. On top of that, the budget, we've seen how crappy Jeepers Creepers 3 was considering its modern day run, it still looked like a 2003 production when they could have done so much better. We've seen franchises and TV shows come about or movies that stem from 2017 and they looked great. They looked ahead of their time, but Jeepers Creepers 3 was not that. So the budgeting was another big reason why Jeepers Creepers 3 did not succeed. And this harpens back to the original point of selling the property rights because the actors and actresses are actually getting old. Jonathan Breck is in his 50s. We have Gina Phillips, who's also in her 40s. So a lot of these people aren't going to be around forever. And what they need to do is fully execute and capitalize on them being here while they still can to reprise their roles and actually fulfill their duties in closing out this movie and thus later giving this to someone else for them to reboot because there is so much substance from this franchise because the monster that is is very different when compared to Chucky, Leprechaun, Jason, Michael, Freddy, Leatherface, Pinhead, Candyman, and entities of that nature because the Creeper is someone that's in the flesh and he can be vulnerable to be killed but he can consumes body parts to regrow the ones that are hurt or broken or missing just to stay afloat. And just like Pennywise, he sleeps for a very long period of time and eats for 23 days. And then after that's done, he goes back into hibernation. So the franchise is not successful primarily, I think, because of Victor. And I think once he's out of the picture fully, then there's room for this franchise to grow because I don't condone anything he's done. I think that what he's done, it's incredibly horrible. It's incredibly wrong. And when you look at who the real monster in this entire thing is, it's Victor, right? So I just really hope that when looking at this overall narrative of what this could be, and even though Victor's actions stem all the way back to 1988, there are so many reasons why he is the problem as to why this franchise isn't growing, and rightfully so, I don't think that the franchise or the movie should be punished for this. I do believe that the people behind the making of this film do not deserve to be punished. Anyone else but Victor Salva deserve a second chance, but Victor, Victor needs to leave. I do believe that Victor needs to relinquish the property for this, and I do think that this is his moneymaker right now, which is very unfortunate because 
the overall franchise does have so much potential to continue, but in the end, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below on what you believe needs to be done in order for this franchise to succeed and in order for us to get another movie or a potential TV show. I want to get your thoughts and feedback in the comment section below about this. Again, thank you all so much for your time. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys agree with me, then be sure to go on ahead and slap a big fat like down below on this video. If of course you guys are new to the channel, then be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload, as well as making sure to share this video out on all social media platforms, Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Thank you all so much for your time. Remember, we the fandom have power to make change, and I really want to get your thoughts as to what you guys would change or at least do different with this franchise because if you stop and think about the overall potential of what a movie series like this has, it's vastly infinite because there's so much that they could do, the only problem is the person behind it. And again, that harpens back to Victor, but who knows what the future may hold. So again, thank you all so much for watching, thank you all so much for your time, tune back in for the next video, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Take it easy guys, peace!